today's practical we are looking at the reflection of light in a plane mirror. We start by drawing a straight line using a ruler. We then place the piece of paper on a cork board. The mirror will be placed along the line but remember reflection occurs at the back of the glass of the mirror therefore we place the back of the mirror on the line. Next we draw a normal using a protractor to ensure that we have 90 degrees. From here we're going to draw the first angle of incidence. I measure using a protractor, draw a long line It's a good idea to indicate the angle. You'll be drawing several lines on your piece of paper. Next we insert pins. The optical pins need to be inserted vertically. I'm putting one quite close to the mirror. I'm putting the other one about as far away as I can whilst still on the paper. Okay. Placing the mirror neatly along the line remember the back of the glass actually on the line. Now you'll need to get down, bend your uh, body so that your eye is at the same level as the pins. If you move your head you'll see the reflections quite clearly in the mirror. You move your head from side to side you will see the two reflections and if you get your eye in exactly the right position you'll be able to hide one pin behind the other so that you can only see one reflected pin. Okay, one more time. You move your head until you're in a position that you can only see one reflected pin. You then need to take a third optical pin, place this in front of the two reflections, and you'll now notice you can only see the third pin. The two reflections are hidden behind the third pin. One more time with a fourth pin. And now you can only see the fourth pin. If you move your head slightly, all four pins and images will be apparent. Remove the pins. Okay, indicate clearly the pinholes. And you are now able to draw a line to show the path of the reflected light ray. The final step will be to measure the angle of the reflected light ray. Remember to always measure from the normal.